there is another statement I've been asked to uh, comment upon, namely the statement that only through, through prayer is it possible to get true protection. And in some ways is it true, in some ways it isn't true. So I find this a little bit of a difficult statement to say anything about. Um, the thing is, who are you pray, praying to? If you're praying to the Creator, which is in a way the absolute ruler of everything in existence, and the Creator would somehow give the blessing directly or indirectly through maybe an angel or a spiritual master, then this tends to work out really, really well because there is authority behind it. So it is a little bit like having um, yeah, a, a writ uh, saying like this person is acting upon my orders, let them pass or leave them alone. And usually powers don't want to get into a fight with an, with an angel or a similar being. So they will tend to back off and to leave you alone uh, because they are afraid of repercussions. But ultimately, such a thing will only uh, par give partial protection because often you're meant to experience things. You have to work on yourself. You also have to take responsibility. And also it can only be used defensively, not offensively. You cannot say I have the authority of God behind me so now I'm going to slap around everybody I don't like. It won't work that way because the protection only lasts as long as you are indeed following the path set out for you. These protections through prayers tend to be conditional and ultimately the only beings which are protected by the divine are the beings which carry out the will of the divine. So as long as you are an instrument of the will of uh, a divine being, that divine being will support you, will guide you, will protect you. But as soon as you deviate, because either of your own impurities, your own misunderstandings, or because of a, a choice to follow a different path or to do your own thing rather than listening to, um, to the divine, then you step out of that protection. And it can be that while being protected you build up a whole bunch of enemies who are just waiting to get at you as soon as you trip up. While you're up there working with the divine they cannot hurt you but they have grudges, they remember what you did. So it's important not to get too cocky even if you do act as an agent of the divine. Often it's also about effort. Uh, it is not God who decides who wins, uh, because God is often on both sides of an argument. So I may follow my idea of spiritual progress, somebody else may follow their idea of spiritual progress. And we may have a conflict, and God will be on both our sides, because he will want to help both of us in both methods. And who will win? It's ultimately the person who's best. So it doesn't mean that all challenges are taken away from you if you pray. But it does mean that a lot of challenges which are not on your level, which are not meant for you, are taken away. Because ultimately everything has to be earned, has to be deserved in the spiritual world. It is much more fair than the material world in that way where many people get lots of money or very cushy jobs just because they're friends in the right places or because they're lucky and bought a winning lottery ticket. It doesn't work that way in the spiritual world. Um, everything has to be earned by either working on yourself or getting authority from somewhere or from something by becoming a part of it or by taking responsibility for them. So it can be a position you earn on your own merit 
because you simply have developed yourself, you have that skill, you have that ability and because of who and what you are you have a certain position and certain rights and uh, one of these rights which can go along with the position is an honor guard which are beings which will help you, which will protect you, which will serve you. So progress gives bigger challenges but also gives certain rights, certain compensations. Uh, you can be in a way elected so there can be many lower beings whom you serve, whom you care for, whom you um, are protecting and you are in a way like their spokesperson, like their champion, like their, their knight um, and they will support you just like yeah, people support uh, the police or support the army as their champions to fight for them, to struggle for them and they will provide you with healing, they will provide you with weapons, with knowledge, with support. Um, so this is one way to move up as a champion. Um, you can also become a servant. Then you become, uh, in a way, just like the, the state has soldiers who fight for it. You can also fight for a god or an angel or an egregore. And uh, then your position, your power, your rights are actually derived from a higher authority, very much like feudalism. Um, just like a baron uh, is in a way ruling certain people, having a certain army in the name of their king or in the name of their leech lord or their leech lady. So it is possible to attain a position in different ways and every position in a way has to be maintained because there's always a challenge. Wherever there's power, there's hunger for power. And um, wherever power is manifested, it draws attention. So if you want to be safe, you will really start to find ways to do things with a minimal amount of power. Because the more you can allow people to help themselves, to heal themselves, the less power has to be manifested by you. And the more power you manifest, the more parasites you will attract, the more visible you will be to your opponents. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit of a tricky thing to be both successful and uh, modest enough to be successful for a longer term. Everybody can flare up and uh, do something great, but usually within three, four years, People will be completely worn down and worn out, their life force, even their spiritual force, expended in spiritual combat if you're not careful. So it's also important to rotate yourself in and out of the front lines. You cannot be in the front lines for many years on end without suffering permanent damage. So it is important every few months half year or so to try to get the egregore or the divinities you're working with to rotate you out so to give you some time to recuperate work on yourself heal uh, develop yourself really work through the experiences you had so you can turn those experiences into knowledge into skill uh, because often while you're on the front lines you're in a way too busy fighting to be able to learn from all the things which are happening to you. So it's important also to have those periods of R&R &R and of sharing, of being like in a safe place again, in, in a supportive place again where you can learn and share your experiences and also learn from other people. And this is also very much the value of agricores that there are places where your experiences can be shared so it is not lost when you die and also your struggles the things you've learned are not just lessons for you but they will be amplified because dozens of people can learn from what you have learned so egregores are really very good accelerators for spiritual development, for spiritual growth. Um, so being a part of them has its risks, 
but it definitely also has its benefits. And for me personally, I think it's very much worth it. If you can't stand the fire, do join an Ecuador.